This podcast may contain paid advertisements, but more on that later. Welcome to the O'Connor Bootstrap Podcast, where I discuss the nuts and bolts of business and leadership, with a focus on bootstrapping a business from the ground up. This podcast is for all entrepreneurs, bootstrappers, and leaders in all walks of life. My goal is to help you grow both personally and professionally. I am your host, Isaiah O'Connor. Okay, everybody, just a brief explanation why there was no podcast last week. I suddenly got another job, and for my first job I had outside my company, I wound up having to go on an extended business trip to go fix some arcade machines, which turned into a 25-odd-some-hour long ordeal over the weekend, so yeah, I was wiped out, and then I landed a second job, so I was work- working two jobs at once last week, so things were a little hectic, and now I am back. So today, I'm going just to a brief sponsorship spot for Audible.com. Audible.com, it's a great place to go get books, to listen to, to learn from when you're really, really busy, you have a crazy, hectic schedule, you can go listen to it. That's how I get most of my reading done these days, by listening. And it's not just books. You can listen to college lectures, podcasts, and other great things. So you can go over to audible.com, check them out at audible.com forward slash bootstrap with capital B to get a free 30-day trial. You get one Audible credit, two Audible Originals, and access to their streaming library for 30 days for free. You keep the book, you keep the Audible Originals forever, and you can listen to it as much as you want. Go check it out, audible.com forward slash bootstrap. bootstrap. Okay, anyway, let's get into this. I have a question for you. Do you know what you are fully capable of doing? Now, I'm not talking about what good things you're fully capable of, capable of or bad things you're fully capable of doing. Often you hear that term, you, you hear people warning people, you have no idea of what I'm capable of. As a warning guy, I'm going to get you if you mess with me, etc. Or even as a compliment, oh, that, that was great, I didn't have any idea you were capable of that. But that's not quite what I mean. Meaning is, if you're sitting there listening to this podcast and you're starting a business or you're wanting to grow or expand your business, or even as a person you want to do something different with your life, you might have more skills and abilities than you fully realize. Kind of laying dormant. And it's really kind of a pretty cool thing that you are probably more capable than you realize. Now, why am I talking about this and what I mean? Uh, Just for fun, let's jump back to uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. One thing that makes Tony Stark slash Iron Man an amazing person is he had no clue what he was capable of. Yeah, he knew he was smart. He knew he was a genius. He was kind of stuck up about it. But what was he really, really, really capable of? He didn't know until he got blown up, kidnapped, and forced to sit in a cave of scrap parts to build something to escape. He had no clue he was able to shrink down in the in the universe the giant arc reactor into a small hand sized thing that could power his first suit of armor and keep his heart beating. He had no clue he was actually capable of doing that. And sometimes when hardships come or things pop up, we might find ourselves able to do things we had no idea we were fully able to. Or also in the book version, at least, of The Count of Monte Cristo, if you've never read it, 
I do suggest it. You can get it on Audible. That's a good one to get on Audible. It's like a long time. It's six book parts, I think. Each book part's like four or five hours long. It's a long, it's a long book, but really interesting. Listen, but if you've never seen it, slight spoiler alert: there's an abbe who is falsely imprisoned, and he creates these amazing tools, he writes a book, he does all these incredible things while he's stuck in the prison. And when he meets the hero of the book, the Count of Monte Cristo, Edmund Dantes, he talks to him, and Edmund Dantes says, wow, this is such an amazing work. Imagine what you could have done if you were free to go doing, to go work. In which case he said, actually, probably not. Because if I was free to work on things and I could do whatever I wanted, I might not do anything because I wouldn't be trapped here forced to do nothing else. So he was able to do an amazing amount of work and create some amazing things because he was stuck in prison. Matter of fact, this could also be the whole idea of necessity's mother invention, but sometimes pressure can show you what you're fully capable of and how you can use that to grow as a person, grow your business, etc. Now, in my own life, I told you just now at the beginning of this that the reason that I was unable to get a podcast up last week was because I landed a second job. So, a friend of a friend was hiring and needed somebody to start immediately the very next day. So, that friend contacted me said, this guy's hiring, he needs somebody that can go do this type of work. He's building playground equipment and trampolines. Can you help? I said, sure, I'm interested. Gave him a call. He said, hey, are you handy? Can you make stuff? Are you good with tech? Yeah, sure, no problem. And I got the job. So now I am building playground equipment. And it's really, really cool. Because I'm fully capable of doing the job. I had no clue. Now, I know how to use power tools. Of course, I picked that up along the way. I've worked with planning plans and planning different things. And it's all coming together to being able to do a job that I had no idea that I was fully capable of. You see, I knew I knew how to handle power tools. I knew I knew how to understand kind of plans and take direction and everything else. And no, I don't know everything that's going on yet. Neither does my boss because it's every playground has a little bit different set of instruction, different drawings, different plans for each setup. So that's understandable. It's always a little bit different. But the fact that I'm able to go there, work, and immediately just do whatever needs to be done kind of surprises me because this is not the type of job I actually thought about going out and looking for. I never thought about it. The job presented itself to me and I just said, okay, let's try it. Let's go. And wow, I'm actually able to do this job and I've had zero problems to date. Able to figure things out, fix things as we go. Some of the stuff I've never done before. But it's pretty straightforward. Figure it out. Do it. Get it done. No problem. And it's been my experience that most people are much more capable than they realize. You, my listener, are much more capable than you think. I've kind of talked about this before where I talked about kind of getting yourself stuck in a rut and breaking out and thinking that you can only do one thing. It's kind of along the same vein, but it's more of what skills do you have? What skills have you developed over your lifetime? The older you are, the more skills you have, even if you don't realize it. You may have a lot more skills than you realize. Are you a stay-at-home mom whose kids have just left? Oh no, what can you do? Man, you can do a lot of things. 
uh, one guy, Dave Ramsey, was talking about how a stay-at-home mom, if she took the skill she did with organizing the food, shopping, cleaning, all that other stuff, could easily be a CEO at another company. I mean, what skills do you have? Pastors. Pastors, pastor of a church, could easily go out and be a CEO of a company. There's so much overlap there. I'm not saying that a pastor of a church should go out and be a CEO. I'm not saying a CEO should be a pastor of a church. It's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you are more skilled than you think. You have more skills, more abilities, and way more potential than you even realize. I can say that pretty confidently to you guys, my listeners, because I've seen it over and over and over and over again. The only people that don't seem to have a lot of skills are the ones that have zero confidence in themselves or just don't want to try. Matter of fact, I've met people that, the only people I've seen that were not capable of learning and and doing things didn't want to. And I'm sure they could have if they had wanted to. So if you're struggling to find a job right now, if you're struggling to come up with an idea for a business, if you're struggling to get out there and move into a different industry that you'll enjoy, stop and go, wait, what can I do? Have I been working on computers my whole life? Have I been a programmer? What are my hobbies? What other skills do I have? Do I know how to paint? Do I have an idea of how to use a power tool? Do I have a hobby here that I've got developing skills? Did I learn something in eighth grade wood shop that I remember now? A lot of the stuff I'm doing now, even with my first, second job other than my business, is how to use a table saw and not cut my fingers off. Because, you know, that's a detail. If you're using a table saw, you really want to try to keep your fingers. It goes, goes with the territory, you know? So I learned years ago how to use a table saw, how to use it correctly, how to use it safely, how to use a skill saw, a rotary saw, safely, not lose fingers. All these different little tricks in, of carpentry. Now, I'm not the world's greatest carpenter, believe you me. But learning how to do these just little things, this little bit here, I was working in a maintenance department over here, all these little things added up to me getting a pretty decently paid job because I have all these random skills that all just happen to work out now. So you never know. And you know what? You might not realize what skills you have until you're forced into it. Because when you get put in a hard situation, sometimes that forces you to find the skills within yourself that to rise to the occasion. And that's very important, too. But just know that I have rarely met a person that isn't more skillful than they think. I've rarely met a person who can't do something, at least if they're shown how to. Most everyone I know, even if they've never done it before, you can teach them. I've taken people, I've taught them how to make balloons in a few minutes, and they had never done it before. They had more capabilities, more skills than they thought. So just to encourage you that you are more capable than you know. And a challenge to look at yourself, look at your life. And even if you're pretty happy where you are, go, what else can I do? What other skills do I have? Can I develop different skills? Do I have different hobbies? Like when I interviewed Diana uh, Havistock, she had just hobbies she was doing to kill time and she got one and it turned to a business and a passion. You never know what these little things that you're developing. You go help a friend put up his barn, build a barn or go paint his house or whatever. All these different things all build up into your entire life set of skills and you can look and stop and go, hey, what else have I learned? What are these skills maybe I can improve on? What are these skills that maybe are marketable? Go check it out. Anyway, that's about all for today. I will see you on Thursday. Go out, find out 
what skills you have, find out what you're truly capable of, and I'm sure you'll be pleasantly surprised. Bye-bye. If you found value in this content, please leave a comment and give us a five-star rating on whichever podcast platform you use. We are on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and most other podcast platforms. If you would like to support us, you can check out our sponsor links, or if you would like to directly support the show, you can donate or join our membership program at buymeacoffee.com forward slash bootstrap. Of course, it really helps when you share these podcasts as well. If you would like to interact with me and other bootstrappers and leaders, you can join our O'Connor Bootstrap Podcast Facebook group. You have been listening to the O'Connor Bootstrap Podcast and Athos Business Solutions Podcast. For our companion podcast, the Athos Business Podcast, hosted by Jason St. Clair, past episodes, and related blogs, check out our website at www.athos.com, which is www.athoz.com or a the oz.com. Until next time, I've been your friendly neighborhood entrepreneur, Isaiah O'Connor.